Hello, and thanks for stopping by. Today, I thought we would do a kid up and chat. Um, I have a lot of things to talk to you about. And um, so I thought I would take this opportunity to do so while I am kidding up. What I'll be kidding up is Home Where the Magic Is. It has 58 colors, uh, one fairy dust and three ABs. So that's what I'm gonna be kidding up today. And I have here just a tray. I always like to kid up in a tray. This is from Bijou Bliss. And um, I have washi tape for my pot. And this, this is a really, I love this. It's scissors on one side. And then on the other side is a, a where you at? There you are. Uh, I am having a heck of a time. Anyway, it's cutter. So, anyway, I am going to kit up in these round pots. Let me grab those. These round pots here. I do have an Elizabeth Ward I could kit up in, but I think that I will do this way, being as there's several... Um, bags of colors and I honestly I don't know how the Elizabeth Ward would handle that just for the fact that um I don't know if I have enough bigger pots for that so I'm just going to kit up this way so the first thing I do just to show you my process before we get into me talking about what's going on is I take this washi tape and I get this washi tape from a Genstone Creations. She sends this specific kind of washi tape every with every kit. And I find it is very handy. What I do is I cut off just one little diamond and then I put it on my pot here. And then I put my sticker on top of it. That way there's no residue whenever I take the sticker off. With Diamond Art Club, there's not really much of a residue. But um, I have gotten burnt on others. So this is just how I tend to do it. So I would like to talk to you guys for just a little bit. Um, the first thing I would like to discuss is I'm changing the name of my channel. It is now, of course, called Diamond Paint with Kim, but I never was happy with that name. I actually had a name prior to Diamond Paint with Kim, and for those four or five subscribers um you may know me as um it was a diamond painting snack chat um, my goal was going to be videos under 10 minutes and um i was going to do uh, just small videos, snack size videos, if you will. Unfortunately, um, when I had a few people that was would talk about the channel, and they inevitably called it Snapchat, and I would call it Snapchat at times too. So I was like, okay, obviously um, I need to change the name. So I changed it to Diamond Paint with Kim. And I was like, man, you know, this is really pretty boring. So um, I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. And um, my cat 
loves to be in the way every time I try to do any diamond painting. Actually, I'm surprised he's not in the middle of things right now. He must be sleeping. Anyway, he was being a big pain in the butt. And I was doing a, a painting and it had cat hair all over it. So he had laid on it with, um, and I didn't have the plastic down. The drills were already down. So I thought of the name Cat Hair and Chaos. And I sat on that name for a long time, you know, thinking, do I really want that name? And I mean, I couldn't think of anything that would be more appropriate. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and I will change my name. And so going forward, my uh, all my socials is going to be Cat Hair and Chaos. Um, so there may be a couple of videos that will still say Diamond Paint with Kim in the intro. But going forward, you know, if they haven't already been posted and are setting in the queue, I'm changing the uh, intro to say Cat Hair and Chaos. And these are staticky. So there is that. And um, let me see, what else is there? Look at how staticky that is. Oops, can you see that? It is so super staticky. I guess I better get out the dryer sheets. I really don't like doing dryer sheets, but I tried those little um, uh, beads that are supposed to be um, for static, and, and they don't work all that well. So I guess I'll just try this. This is all I have for now. See if it works. I'm sure it will. So, anyway, um, another thing is I have been growing steadily. I'm very happy and very thankful. I, um, I actually asked Kay over at Diamond Painting Events if I could uh, borrow her, um, slides and do a video every month of the diamond painting events that are coming up and she was very gracious in allowing me to do so and so I have I've done two months so far and um, every time I do the video she posts in her group saying that the video has been done and I, I get new subscribers. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, I appreciate her help in doing so. So to celebrate, when it gets a little closer, I will be doing a giveaway once I reach 250 subscribers. I will do another video and um, have a keyword and whoever wins that will win a prize pack. So be looking for that video. I'm thinking it probably won't be too long, maybe a month. So I just kind of wanted to give you a heads up on that. Another thing that has happened that I was not expecting at all is I have had two budget-friendly companies reach out to me in wanting to do a collaboration. So I will be having a, a couple of, of uh, things to show you on my channel here in a little bit uh, once they send it to me. I'll do an unboxing and I will also uh, probably do a kit up 
and maybe a post review. So I'm excited about uh, working with those uh, companies. And to anybody who is watching, I am open to working with any and all companies um, as I get my feet in the door um, I would appreciate uh, the collaboration so there's that that being said um, I was thinking about and I'd like to know your comments uh, know your thoughts in the comments below um, I'm thinking of setting up a very economical Patreon. And the reason I'm thinking of setting up a Patreon is not specifically to get extra money. But I have a lot of budget-friendly canvases that I know that I'm never going to do. So what I was thinking is I would like to set up a couple of tiers depending and, and like I'm thinking maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe three and five dollars or or two fifty and five dollars a month. And um, whenever I get to a break even point, which I was thinking maybe you know, five subscribers, I would do a giveaway for, um, my Patreon members and, um, give away a, uh, a budget friendly canvas. And I would do that monthly and maybe like every five subscribers, we would have another giveaway. So if this became popular, um, you know, I may be giving away three or four canvases. Uh, so what do you guys think about that? Um, you know, I'm thinking maybe just do, I don't know, $3 a month. Um, and then three, yeah, probably three. I don't know. And then once I get five subscribers, I would do... A prize pack. Um, so what are your all thoughts about that? Do you think that would be something you might be interested in? Of course, you know, I would never hold you to it. Um, but in the comments, that would be great if you would let me know what you thought. <clears throat> let me see. Where are we at? Oh, we're at uh, almost 15 minutes. So I'm not going to take up much more of your time. Um, I have a lot of things to do, and honestly, I've noticed um, with the algorithms, whipping chats, uh, about halfway through, y'all get bored and, and move on, so I don't want to take up any of your time either. So, other than that, there's really not much else going on. Um, I do have a kind of... I, I call it good news. Um, my husband has started diamond painting with me. And so just about every night we'll get out a kit and, uh, and we will work on it for about an hour. And, um, I, I'm really enjoying the company and, and he's, uh, doing really well with it. The only downfall is Unfortunately, he's a lot like me and where he gets really bored with one kit and um, is ready to kit up another. That's one of the reasons why we're kitting this up now. Um, I did a whip parade video that will be coming out here in a couple of weeks. And my whips are out of control. But you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter. There's this is the I um a hobby that you can do however you want. A lot of people like having only one whip. A lot of people like having 
multiples. So I obviously I'm a multiple person. So anyway, uh, look for that video coming soon. <sighs> Let me think. I don't think there's really anything else much going on. My uh, son went to Chicago and back uh, a little while ago, and he had a great time. We missed him terribly. Glad he's back. And um, other than that, it's just been the same old, same old. That's Again, that's one of the reasons why I don't do whipping chats. Because I honestly, I don't have much going on. And that is by design. We have set up our lives to where we have very, very little drama. So, um, we enjoy that. And we just do our diamond painting at night. And our son goes out and does his thing. And everybody's happy. So, anyway. I'm not going to keep you any longer thanks for stopping by if you enjoy this type of video if you could at least leave me a thumbs up on the way out i sure would appreciate it and until next time we'll see you in the next video Bye bye